Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. What's going on, everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back at it again with another Pokemon card weekly auction recap. Folks, another amazing week. I love making these auction recaps. It's one thing I truly enjoy doing in this hobby. So it's a lot of hard work, but I love doing it. Thank you so much for tuning in each and every week. I appreciate it more than you know. This week, folks, we had a battle of the beasts, the clash of the titans. We saw a black label Giratina V alternate art from Lost Origins come by. And we also saw another black label Umbreon V Max from Evolving Skies. We're gonna see which one of those two reigns supreme. Before we jump into this auction recap, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Kanto Shark. Need a break from searching far and wide for the best Pokemon deals? Well, put down your Pokeballs and take a seat because Kanto Shark, the ultimate Pokemon marketplace, has got you covered. Kanto Shark is dedicated to Pokemon only and has a variety of brand new vintage, modern, and Japanese graded cards for sale each week. With same or next day shipping, you can catch them all without leaving your couch. Head over to KantoShark.com and snag the best deals on the hottest Pokemon cards. Trust me, your inner Pokemon master will thank you. All right, without further ado, folks, another incredible lineup of Pokemon card auctions. Let's get started with the newest set in the English TCG, Scarlet and Violet. We saw one graded card come by. As a CGC 10 pristine, it was the Miriam uh, secret rare card, alternate art, whatever you call it from these sets, uh, that sold this week for $779. We also saw, as usual, several black label cards come by. Here's a BGS 10 black label Quaxly. Uh, from Triple Beat. This is a Japanese card that sold for $255. And then we saw this uh, Charizard V-Star from the Japanese V-Star Universe as a black label that sold for $1,525. And then here is another Japanese card from Triple Beat is a black label Magikarp, a very awesome looking card that sold for an even $1,000 this week. Here from Crown Zenith was a black label Raikou V that came by and sold for $810. Uh, here from Evolution Set, we saw the holographic Charizard as a PSA 10 come down quite a bit in price. This card has been uh, living large at about $1,800 to $2,000 as a Gem Mint 10. This week we saw a sale of $1,275. So I'm not sure if that was like a fluke sale, just off timing, whatever it was, but that is quite a decrease in value from what we've been seeing this card sell for. We saw a couple of cards from Generation Set. Here's a Full Art Articuno that sold as a PSA 10 for $153. And then we saw this Full Art Sylveon EX. Uh, this is the Radiant Collection of Generations that sold for $205 US dollars. And then we saw some insane Japanese card sales. Here's a BGS 10 Latios Latios GX Alternate Art card that sold for $1,856 US dollars. Here is a first edition Japanese Umbreon EX uh, from the Awakened Psychic King, which would be like the Japanese version of Fates Collide, sold as a PSA 10 for $2,652. And then we saw this Japanese Rainbow Rare Charizard GX that sold for $3,150. Heading into the EX era, we saw several awesome sales. Here is a Charizard from EX Dragon. This is the National Championships card, sold as a PSA 10 for $2,550. And then from Hidden Legends, we saw a Dark Celebi Hollow. Not a card I see come by very often. Sold this week for $456. Here from Delta Species, we saw a Dragonite Hollow that sold for $505. And then we saw a Blaziken EX from Crystal Guardians sell for $688. We saw the Charizard Hollow from EX Power Keepers sell this week for $1,480. And then the Reverse Hollow version of this card actually sold for more, selling for $1,675. We saw a couple of awesome Gold Star cards. Here's an Alakazam Gold Star that sold for $2,950. And then we saw this Vaporeon Gold Star from EX Power Keepers that sold for $1,750. And then heading into the Watsy era, we saw the big three come by in PSA 10. These are the unlimited versions. A Venusaur sold for $1,226. The Blastoise sold for $2,126. And the Big Bad Charizard sold for $9,556 this week. A couple of amazing cards from Team Rocket. I love Team Rocket set. Here's a Dark Raichu Secret Rare, first edition, 
PSA 10 that sold for $1,507. The Dark Blastoise sold for $2,225. And the Dark Dragonite First Edition Hollow sold for $2,225 as well. We saw one card from Jim Challenge, and that was the Rockets Mewtwo Hollow that sold as a PSA 10 for $1,075. This is such a unique card from the Watsy era. Uh, with the picture of Mewtwo kind of being squished to make room for the three different attacks. It's pretty cool. A couple of cards from Neo Genesis. Here's a PSA 10 Typhlosion, Typhlosion 18, first edition that sold for $850. And then the Kingdra here sold for $690. The Unlimited Shining Charizard sold for $3,850. Getting into the E-Series, we saw a couple of Crystal cards come by. Here's a Crystal Golem from Sky Ridge, sold for $1,002, while the Crystal Kabutops, also from Sky Ridge, sold for $1,225. And then lastly, we saw this gorgeous Umbreon from Sky Ridge that sold as a PSA 10 for $4,500. On to the sealed product segment of our video, we saw several of these graded uh, cellophane packs, uh, these little packs that hold only one card. Uh, you can actually grade those, not the card inside, but the pack itself. Not my cup of tea, but they go for some pretty insane prices. Here is a uh, sealed reverse hollow Entei promo. Uh, I'll put up on the screen here exactly what it looks like so you're familiar. But this sold as a PSA 10 for $102.50. We saw this sealed Cool Porygon sell for $188. Here's a sealed Meowth. This is a uh, Game Boy promo card that sold for $260. Here we saw a sealed Black Star Pikachu that sold for $231, while this sealed E3 Red Cheeks Pikachu sold for $1,975. We saw a lot of six Evolving Skies booster boxes that sold for $2,175. Here we saw the complete art set of Expedition Packs with Venusaur, Feraligator, Charizard, and Blastoise. All four of these packs sold for a grand total of $1,805. And then we saw an unlimited fossil booster box that sold for $7,201. On to this week's PWCC Weekly Auction Recap. There wasn't a whole lot that came by, at least compared to what we usually see. Saw a couple of interesting sales. Here is a black label Japanese 25th anniversary Gold Star Umbreon that sold for $1,530. Here we saw a PSA 8 signed Deoxys card. Uh, the autograph got a 10, and this sold for $1,590. We saw a CGC 9.5 Reverse Hollow Charizard from Legendary Collection uh, pop one of nine card that sold for $4,080. We saw a no rarity symbol Charizard that was signed by Arita. Uh, the signature got an auto 10 and sold for $4,920 this week. Here we saw a 1997 uh, Bandai Starter card. Uh, that sold as a PSA 10 for $7,800. And then this 1997 Japanese Top Sun Holofoil Prism Charizard card came by and sold for $16,800. Which brings me to the auction of the week, and it is also the Guess Which Sold For More segment of our video. On our left side, we have the BGS 10 Black Label Giratina V Alternate Art from Lost Origins. Whew, a monster of a card versus the BGS-10 Black Label Epic Moonbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Which one of these guys sold for more this week? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. Time's up. If you said the Giratina V alt art, you would be wrong. As this card sold this week for $7,200 while the Black Label Umbreon VMAX beat it barely, selling for $100 more at $7,300. Now I'm gonna throw some statistics at you, okay? About six weeks ago, this Black Label Umbreon sold via PWCC auction for $12,000. And at the time, there was a population of 50 Black Label examples of this card. Fast forward about six weeks later, this card now sells for about $7,300, which is nearly a $5,000 decrease in value over the course of six weeks. And there are now 69 Black Label copies of this Moonbreon VMAX. So in six weeks, there have been 38% more Black Label Moonbreons added to the pop report. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Don't forget to check out CantoShark.com. Check out what he's got over there. That's all I got for you today. I will catch you all in my next one.